everyone and welcome to another Case Man Rules tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to be learning how to install PHPBB forums on your website. PHPBB is um, a forum that you can install on your site, it's completely open source. If you go to my forum, which is forum.caseofmanrules.com, uh, you will find that uh, I am running PHPBB right now. Uh, this is it right here. This is basically what it looks like. Uh, this is the style right here of different uh, topics, and they go down into subtopics if you click on that one, like right here. So I encourage you to come and sign up for this. So um, I'm going to be showing you how to install that um, on your website. Uh, first thing you're going to need to do if you don't already have a host is get a host. Um, I would definitely suggest fighthost.com. When you go to the home page, it's going to look like this right here. Um, you just need to click on free hosting and scroll, actually you don't have to scroll right here, click uh, here to sign up for free hosting, enter your information, you'll receive a confirmation email, and you're pretty much set. So then what you can do is you can log in, I have a shortcut right here, it's panel.bytehost.com. So I'm just going to log into my account right here, you're going to do the same, and you'll get this Vista panel right here, which is a control panel for your new website. So uh, we have a couple of things in here that are very important, uh, specs about our server that we're running off of here, how much information, or how much space we have left and all that stuff, stuff. and um, first thing that we need to do right here is, um, let's go create a database first of all. Uh, we're going to be running MySQL databases or MySQL, um, and let's just uh, create a database real quick. We'll call this one PHPBB, and you just click Create Database, and it's as simple as that. Your database is now created. So um, after you've done that, go ahead and look around. Feel free to get comfortable with it. But now what we're going to want to do is begin uploading the PHPBB file. But first, we got to get them. So go to phpbb.com, and that link will be in the description, and click Download on the latest release section. Go right on down here and you'll see PHPBB 3.0.5 and you want the zip version. And it'll redirect you to olo.net and you can begin downloading it. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop. You guys can save it where you can find it. And as you can see it's a very quick download, it's not very large considering it's all text based. Um, so right here, here it is in the zip file, we'll just go ahead and extract that. It takes just a few seconds to extract. It's all HTML, PHP files, and a couple of images, I guess. So it's not very difficult. And you can go ahead and delete the zip file now, and all you have left is the PHPBB. So now what we're going to want to do is begin uploading them to our site. Now if you've never done this before, you're going to need to be able to FTP to your site. Um, I definitely suggest using FileZilla as an FTP client. You probably don't know what that means yet if you've never done this before, but go ahead and download that install it and when you do you'll come up with an interface very similar to this so now what we need to do is go back to our control panel and find down here FTP hostname and username so what you're gonna want to do is copy this right here control C and paste that into the host section at the top of FileZilla go back and copy your username right here copy paste that in your username and if you're using ByteHost, like I said, um, if you're using your own host, you probably already know how to do this, but if you're using ByteHost, your password is the same as the control panel password, which you set when you signed up for the site. So I'm going to type mine in right here, and click Quick Connect, and it'll connect to my site, as you can see right here. I also have it saved on Shortcut right here, which you'll learn how to do. Just go into Site Manager, and you can enter the information and save it. Go to the domain you got with it. You'll have It'll just say htdocs right here. And then you can create a directory called forum. So, um, so uh, we'll just call this one tutorial forum. So now we have that right here, and we have an empty directory. So now what we can do is we can go to our PHPBB files right here, and you see all these. Just um, let's drag them over the side probably don't have the snap feature because you're not running Windows 7 yet, but however you can do it, just select all the files or just do Control A, 
and drag them on over into this empty directory right over here. Like go, and it'll begin transferring the some 900 files onto your site. And that takes a good while, uh, depending especially on your internet connection, but um, generally not too big of a deal, so. Alright everyone, I'm back. Um, these files have just finished transferring. Um, so now that all your uh, stuff is uploaded on your site, you'll be able to go and now install the form. So let's open up the internet browser right over here, and let's open up a new tab. And you're going to go to your domain that came with your um, site. So the one that came with my site, and you need to go after you type that in, after the slash, type in um, the directory where you saved the form. So it was tutorial forum. Press enter. And here's the installation for PHP PB. So click on the install tab up top here. And you click to the next step now. And you'll get right here the installation compatibility. This is probably the most important part. Um, you need to make sure that all of these things aren't wrong. You want most of them to be yes. If anything says no, check what it is. These are the most important parts down here. These all need to be found and writable. If they're not writable, you need to go in with your FTP client again, and you see the ones where it says, like, cache files and store, and you need to go in here and change their permissions. So, it says they need to be found and writable by the server. So, uh, cache was the first one, you need to right-click and click file permissions. And you need to go to, um, owner permissions and make sure they're all like this. Pretty much what you need to do is in the numeric value, type 751. That makes it easiest. Um, and after you do that, recursive into the subdirectories, and you're done. And you should be able to refresh the page, and that'll be found writable. Then you need to do for files and store, make sure those all work. It's recommended that you do these ones as well, but they are optional. So once these things are all found and writable, click Start Install. And now you need to enter in your database information. So I'll go to MySQL right here. Um, database server host name. Go back to your control panel. Go down where you find your FTP information, and below that you'll see your MySQL information. So right here we have um, the host name, fix that, username, skip this by the way, and paste that. Um, your database name is whatever you named it, but it kind of adds stuff on before it. So go to your, uh, where is it, databases. And you can scroll down and find them right here. And this is the one that we created for this. So copy that in, your database name. Make sure there's no spaces before it or anything like that. Type in your password again, it's the same. And click proceed to the next step. You should get test connection successful. If you didn't, you entered in something wrong. So make sure you've got everything right. And after you've gotten this, click proceed to the next step. Um, so let's create our user things. So the next step. Test should be passed. See the next step again. This step you're probably going to want to mostly leave the same. You can go through it and make it very special if you want to, but not really necessary. Make sure though that this is your actual domain name. So if you're using the default domain name, then you can use that one. But if you've bought another domain or using a code.cc domain or something like that, make sure you enter that there. Make sure it's not um, your default if you don't want to use it as your primary domain. Um, so after that's right, make sure that's where you installed your form. Click proceed to next step. Now your database tables have been created inside your database and you are done. You can now log into your forum. And as soon as you get in here, you'll get this message. This is very important. As soon as you're completely done with installation, go into your um, FTP client again, scroll down and find the install directory. Just press delete and delete it. You don't need that anymore, and it's a security risk to have it there. After you've deleted it, you can refresh the page, and you'll find that that message is now gone. And, I'll, and start changing your forums, adding different forums, uh, permissions, different styles or themes on your um, site, which you can get off the internet. Just Google, you know, PHP DB themes and such like that. And you can begin setting it up. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.